That we often think that if we say yes to God, then that means that all of a sudden my life is going to get easier. That God's going to make everything kind of work out and come together. Well, let's see if that happened for Mary. Because if you go back and you look at chapter 1, when God came to Mary and said, Mary, I know you've got big plans. I know you've got the dress and everything picked out. But Mary, I just got to tell you, I, I, I found favor in you and you're going to give birth to my son. You know what the Bible says? Mary said, yes. God, whatever you desire is what I'm willing to do. Mary said, yes, we'll let's see how that turned out uh, for when she had the baby. Luke chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. It says, Mary's fiancé, Joseph, well, he was from Nazareth in Galilee, and so he had to participate in the census in the same way everyone else did, because he was the descendant of King David, the ancestral city, and his ancestral city was Bethlehem, David's birthplace. So Mary, who is now late in her pregnancy. Have you ever been around a lady who is late in her pregnancy? Which was the messenger Gabriel had predicted. And she accompanied Joseph. Now while they were in Bethlehem, she went into labor. And she gave birth to her first season. You can slam the door on them just like the innkeeper did. Or you can be like Mary and say, you know what, God? Yes, whatever it is that you want, whatever you're challenging me to do, yes, I'm going to get involved. I part of this gift revolution. I'm going to be involved in this business that you're nudging me to do. I'm going to help out in this relationship. Yes, God, I'm going to be obedient. And it will forever change your future. I pray that they would sense your peace. And I pray that they would sense your power. I would pray that even though it's not easy for them, that you would reveal yourself to them. That they would be able to see you as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I pray God for those who see an opportunity that may be disguised as an interruption. The courage that they need, give them the strength that they need to just step out and step forward. Yes, the innkeeper said no. And as your, your kids today, God, we come to you and we say yes. God, we're going to look past the mask. We're going to look past the interruption. And we are going to choose to see the Christmas blessing. We're trusting you. And we know that you will be there to wrap your arms around us. We love you, God.
And would you really worship Him? Whether you can sing or not, whether you know music or not, would all that you are acknowledge in these next few moments all that He is. Let's worship Him.